everybody. Welcome back to A Late Show. She is an Emmy award-winning actress and comedian. You know from Girls Trip and The Last OG. Her stand-up comedy series, Tiffany Haddish Presents, They Ready, has just returned for a second season. Please welcome back to A Late Show, the delightful Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Steve. Now, we recently had uh, your boyfriend, Common, on the show. I don't know if you saw him. He's not him. my boyfriend. He is my man. He is my man. I don't, I didn't I don't know date that. boys no more. You I don't, don't date, date boys. He's your man, man friend. He's your man He's friend. He's my man. <laughs> that is good <laughs> to know. Man. I like it. Now, did you watch him when he was on the show? Did, when he was on the show? Did you catch him when I, he was on the show? I saw, I saw it. Yeah, he, I saw he it. seemed a little uncomfortable with how close you and I are. Like our relationship seemed threatening to him in a little, a little, a little way. Yeah, he, you know, we had a conversation about it. He was like, "So what's the deal with you and Steve?" I was like, "That's the you past." Know, I, was, I was like, "That's it. That was back in the day, man." We were young, I, you know. I shot my shot. That was before my bat mitzvah. I was a little girl. I was a girl then. You know? I, and, I, and I'm a boy, and you've moved on to a man. A man, <laughs> a man. Okay, <laughs> but what I found out from him, which I couldn't believe, is that he made a play for you once, more than once, you rejected him. You rejected yeah. Common. I've seen his yeah. abs. I don't think I'd reject Common. What, why, well, what, did you, was he? I was he, waiting what? for you, Steve. I was waiting for you to get single. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> I'm just too ha I'm just too damn happy with Evie. But seriously, <laughs> did, what did you think the first time Common was making a play for you and you're like, no? Yeah, he was like trying to holler and I was like, um, no, nah, I'm not really interested. <laughs> No, I'm good. My my eyes are set on other things. I'm I'm interested in somebody else. I'm sorry, but you seem like a nice person. <laughs> You're a little too common for me. Now, <laughs> well, I know too many people that dated you. Let's be honest. I didn't say that though. But I, <laughs> I didn't say that. But, you got the you, know. you got the scoop. You know, you know. You got the real deal. All right, that's good. Put it in the book. Put it in the book. Now you've all, you've been you've given us a revelation about your relationship recently with the silhouette challenge. I mean, this you are my introdu my introduction. To this. That's how I learned about the silhouette challenge because you lit up the internet. Jim, do you have this clip right here? Show 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 how Tiffany kicked it off. Now, baby, I've been working out, <laughs> <laughs> and this is where it goes. So you got Common to come in there. There's the two uh -huh. of you. Is that is that is that how passionate it really is? Because that is, I'm not sure if we can show. Can we show this on CBS? No. This is extraordinary. <laughs> there was a point at which they said we can't show any more of the video on CBS. So is that what? Did, did you have to talk him into that? It was quite a negotiation, let me tell you. Okay, so I'm like, look, I want to shoot this video. You need, I need you to be in it with me. And he's like, no, that's not really my style. I'm not known for that. That's not really my thing. And I was like, look, every time you ask me to do something, I do it and I don't make no money. I'm asking you to do something for me. And every time I do ask you to do something, you get paid. Now, what you going to do on today is this video with me or I won't be doing nothing for you. And he's like, all right, all right, calm down. All right, I'll do That's it. That's not, I'm not really into that. Again, the man's on the cover. Is it men's health? Where is he like all cut? What's he on the cover of? Yeah, yeah, he's a, you know, you know, one of the sexy people, one sure. of the sexiest men. That's right, men. that's right. Right. So I tell him, look, you can do it with me. Keep your shirt on, keep your shorts on, you know, don't even trip, it'll be fun. And then I only wanted to do three takes. It turned into 18 takes. He's like, wanna, let's shoot again. Can we try it one more time this way? Maybe I should do this. I didn't feel sexy enough. Maybe we, I could do this. I'm like, for somebody who did not want to do this, wow. you now want to do another take and another take? Wow. Come on, bro. But we had a good time. We were laughing the whole time. It was fun. Um, so he is one of the sexiest men alive officially, according to People Magazine. Does he lord that <laughs> over you at all? Or does he say, hey, this is prime real estate? Because I was, believe it or not, in 2006, listed as one of the sexiest men alive in People Magazine, and I still lord I that over my that. wife. I still you go, hey, come on. 
This is prime cut right here. I'm just well marbled these days. He now, does not hold that over my head. Um, now, I just found out something about you that I love, uh, is that it turns out that you're a Shakespeare nerd. You uh -huh. did like Shakespeare performances and competitions when you were in high school and you won. You have a, do, you have a fav do you have a favorite Shakespeare play? Um, one of my favorites is, uh, I have a few favorites. Like, I love Hamlet, sure. I love Macbeth, I sure. love Midsummer Night's Dream. Sure. I, I have a few ones. Do, yeah. I, I'd love to do a little Shakespeare with you. Could, could you and I do oh, a scene go. together? Let's a go. scene together? Because I, I heard, we'd heard, my producer said you liked uh, Macbeth, which is who doesn't yeah. like a good spooky story. Could we, could we do uh, the witches scene? Yes. Which is scene? Okay, because I got—I have to look. I'm sure you've already got it down, but I've got to look at cards here. I'll be the second witch. Okay, you be okay. the first and the third. I'll be the second witch. All right. So, okay. Macbeth, Act Four, Scene One. You yeah, see, you're you're all ready for it. A cavern in the middle. A boiling cauldron. Thunder. Enter the three witches. Thrice the binded cat had meowed. Thrice and once the hedge pig whined. Harper cries, tis time, tis time. Round about the cauldron go, in the poison tells throw. Toad, that under cold stone days and nights has thirty-one. Swirled vermin sleeping got, boil, thou first day the charmed pot. Double, double, toil and trouble. Toil and trouble. Fire, Fire burn, burn and cauldron and bubble. bubble. Filet of fenny snake in the cauldron boil and bake. Eye of newt and toe of frog. Wool of bat and tongue of dog. Adder's fork and blind worm's sting. Lizard leg and owlet's wing for a charm of powerful trouble. Like a hell broth boil and bubble. Double, 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 toil and trouble, and trouble. Fire, fire burn, burn and cauldron, cauldron bubble. bubble. <laughs> I'm ready for my Oscar. There it is. <laughs> my little mole fell off. Man, I want to see. I want to see you in a Shakespeare play. That would be so fun. I'm really good at it. I played Lady Macbeth before. We got second place in that one and did uh, Macbeth for a competition where I was one of the witches. We won first place in that one. Then I did Midsummer Night's Dream where I played all the characters in a monologue, won first place with that. Then I did Romeo and Juliet in a mashup where I was Romeo and I was Juliet and wow. I won first place in that. You know, I was killing in high school. I was a beast in high school. Broke as hell though. You've also been playing the role of interviewer recently. You interviewed, yeah. I've wanted to interview this guy. How come she's interviewed, you interviewed Anthony Fauci. How come he, she's interviewed yeah. Fauci and I haven't? Well, oh, because the White because. House likes you. Okay. So. No, Fauci likes me. I don't know if that White House did. And that White House that we had, I don't know if they liked me, but Fauci did. So did you enjoy the interview? I did. I learned a lot. Um, I got to grill him about a lot of things. I, re I really enjoyed him, um, you know, from one scientist to another. It was it was wonderful. He's been held up as a sex symbol, like a brainy sex symbol lately. Has, do, you, do, you, do you get any of that vibe off of him? I, I, you know, I really didn't get the sex symbol vibe. No. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine hooking up with him. I feel like if I hooked up with him... I'm not saying probably... you have to hook up with him. I'm not saying... I'm I mean, just... when you think sex symbol, you think, like, would I get with that? You know, and then I'm thinking, like, it would be, like, the color purple where his kids are like, how did he die? And I'd be like, on top of me. Like, I, would, I, don't, I don't feel like that would be... Good. He could give me a pap smear any day, you know. He, All right. He, I, I Good, to know. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know is the pap, the pap smear hall pass is what you're saying right there. Now, you're a scientist though. You love science. I understand you've got your own, what, you have your own um, microscope. Wait, you came with pops? I'm a hardcore scientist, yo. Uh, what do you use I, that for? I love looking at germs and bacteria. I wipe doorknobs, all kind of stuff. I look at everything. But what do you like, do with them? Do you have Petri dishes and stuff? I have Petri dishes, everything. When I was dating, when I was like, you know, when I first got on Bumble, and I would have guys come by. 
guys come by. I wouldn't make out with them on the first date. I would like give them something to drink, you know, and I would be like, oh, it's so nice to have you here. Okay, bye. And they leave and I take the cup. I swab where they were drinking at, right? Put that in a Petri dish, you know, let that bake for, you know, let it do what it do. Then I would, you know, put it on a slide and I would look at it and see what they got going on in their mouth. Now, if they had too much candida going on, I'm never going out on another date. I'm not kissing them, nothing. You know, I'm good. Wrong kind of bacteria, I'm, I'm cool. I don't get involved. But if it's a nice, healthy amount, you know, because we all got them. Sure. We all got bacteria. But if it's sure. a healthy amount, then, you know, second date. We, we, uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. That is, that's a very healthy, logical approach to dating. Do you, yeah, well, you recommend it? I, re I recommend every woman get a microscope and, you know, check check these guys out, you know? A lot of times you say, hey, let's go to the doctor and let's get tested. And they're like, I don't need to do that. I'm, I'm good. I don't need to go to the doctor. What if you know something not right? Or you need to get you a microscope and do your own test. Hello. <laughs> Tiffany, we have to take a quick break. Uh, but when we come back, I will ask Tiffany about going to Dave Chappelle's summer camp. It sounds like fun. Stick around. 